Hey, joining us now on the Mar Army Rock Show. This is the first for me. I've got a band calling me from the Whiskey A Go Go out in Los Angeles. We've got three by design on the phone. Guys, welcome to the show. Happy to be here. Thanks. Yeah, man. thanks a lot. Yeah, this is cool for me. I, you know, in all the bands I've interviewed, I've never been out there to, uh, I've been to LA, but I've never been to the whiskey. So tell me where you are now. Are you in some sort of green room or what are you all doing now? Are you out in your, in your van? What you doing? Yeah, we're here early for, we got a sound check with all the other bands and we're upstairs in one of their green rooms. They have, uh, one designated for us. That's awesome, man. One of these days I'm going to get out to that legendary uh, venue. So, um, man, I am really loving your album, Under the Surface. I mean, since I, I've met you guys on the Internet, I've been listening to this nonstop. So give me a brief history of the band. It looks like you've only been around since about 2013. Yeah, you know, um, uh, this is Kevin. So, you know, me and uh, Frank, you know, we've played in a couple different projects. So, you know, um, you know, as we were doing things, we you know, wanted to start doing, you know, a band that was more along the lines of what we really wanted to do. And, you know, I mean, we put our foot forward, you know, found Kent, and then uh, John came into the mix, and it's, it's been really awesome. You know, we all have, like, say, a, a pretty, you know, collective uh, group of influences. So we just got busy recording, started writing, and, you know, and, you know we love playing shows. You know, it's one of the things that we do best. And, you know, so it's come, come together pretty quickly because, you know, we've all had past experiences that have led into it, so... Now, tell me a little bit about tonight's show. Who are you playing with, and, and what's uh, what's the vibe like on a Sunday night out there at the Whiskey? Uh, we're playing with uh, 36 Crazy Fists, which is a pretty big deal for all of us. I think I can speak for everyone here. Yeah, pretty big band out of uh, Alaska. They're a national act, and uh, they're touring with uh, The Defiles, who's also playing tonight. And I know they've been playing some shows. I think they're joining in this moment on the road, too, uh, over the next couple of weeks. So it's going to be a pretty heavy show tonight, so we're playing all our... Uh, Headbanging songs and all that heavy stuff. And, uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's Los Angeles. It's the strip. You know, it's busy pretty much every night here. You know, it's not like any other, like, smaller town where, you know, your Fridays and your Saturdays are your big nights. It's not really like that out here. You know, every night is a Friday or a Saturday. It's funny you mentioned playing with some of the heavier bands. Because one of the questions I wrote down with is, in listening to your album, you guys really seem to me like you could play from everything from metal to mainstream rock. Who do you share, share the bill with the most often? What kind of band? Um, to be honest, I feel like we're like a fifty-fifty right now. Most of the time, it's on the heavier side, so we'll play you know our real heavier song. But you know when. When you're in a, a band like us, you know, when you're trying to gain more fans and you go out and play these shows, you're trying to, you know, gather the attention of the fans from the other bands as well. So you know that they're there to see a heavy band, so you kind of got to, like, play the heavy music so it appeals to them. But, uh, we, like, like, like you said, you know, we have our more mid-tempo mainstream tracks as well, so whatever the environment we're in, we'll garner our uh, set list to um, the way the environment is. So, man, you guys got a very cool music video out there. Video out there. Tell folks a little bit about the making of the music video Shatter. Oh, man, it's just awesome. Uh, so it's directed uh, by Matthew Sully Brown, um, uh, also uh, the director of photography uh, with Wes Shirley. It's just awesome. Um, you know, it's been uh, one of the – actually, Shatter was one of the first tunes that, you know, really brought the band together. And um, it's just really cool. Matt was really visionary about, you know, what he wanted to do with it, you know, with the cell phones and everything shattering. You know, that was a great idea. Um, we shot uh, all the, the the live band uh, shots in one day in downtown LA, and then over the next month we brought in the actors, and it's just it's just been a rad experience, and which has been uh, really stoked on how it came out, and even more to everybody's perception of it. So, yeah. Okay, so one of the things I was immediately drawn to that I like in your band is, is the harmonies, especially in the choruses. Is that a big part of, of the writing process for you guys? Uh, yeah, it definitely, it definitely, it definitely is. You know, usually, uh, you know, I think with most uh, musicians and bands, the music usually comes first. The same sort of deal with us, you know. Kev and Frank will put down some uh, guitar melodies and such, and uh, Ken will throw down some drums and then really heads into my direction where I can sit at home in front of my computer and uh, throw down some demos and try a, different, a bunch of different ideas down. But as long as I've been a musician, I've always been a huge fan of harmonies, and I think it's kind of uh, created our own little sound with how we do it. And, uh, you know, Frank does it live, does the backup of the live, and does a killer job of it, and, uh, and um, it's just part of who we are as a band. Hey, now, we're basically an East Coast operation here, but um, you're, you know, out there on the Sunstrips, 
Strip. What, what is the vibe like in L.A. for rock and roll music these days? You know, it's been a long time since the heyday, I guess, or is it? Is it underground now, or is rock and roll still at the forefront on the Strip? Um, I wouldn't say it's really the forefront, you know. Uh, I mean, you go, you walk down Sunset Boulevard now, you have a club for EDM on one block, then you have a rock club that plays rock bands on another block, and then you have an Irish bar on the next block, so it's like, it really depends on where you're headed, you know. But, I mean, this, I mean, there's like, how many people live in Los Angeles? Like, millions of people, so, you know, there's plenty of people out here who still love to go to a rock and roll show, and we can just, all we have to do is our demographics and find those people and make sure they listen to our music and then get them out to the show, because they'll come, you know, and we make, we make sure that we're pretty good to our uh, our fans, and we make sure, you know, it's a reasonable price to get into our shows, and we make sure that we put 110% into our live performance so they leave, you know, saying that was totally worth it. That's one cool part about playing in L.A., too, you know. Done a bunch of shows out here, and even like tonight, you know, there's a couple great bands. You know, Fracture is on with us. I hadn't heard them before. You know, you run into you know um, new bands all the time. So it's, you know, it's one of the great parts about being in LA. So you know, so many you know musicians, so many artists out here too. And another part about it too is like we're pretty close to a lot of other areas too. It's about a two-hour drive for us to go play down in San Diego. Uh, you know, we can hop in our car and go hit Vegas. We can go to Arizona. Riverside, San Francisco, Sacramento, all those places, you know, it's just, it's part of the whole thing, but it, it's the luxury of living in California where, you know, you know, you, you're on the beach one minute and then you take a half hour drive and you're on the mountain, you know. Yeah, man, I love your part of the country and that's out to San Diego. Uh, man, that's a, San Diego is a beautiful city as well. Now, um, and I really seriously do love Under the Surface. It's a great album. Tell me a little bit about my favorite team. My favorite team so far is Ricochet. Give me a little bit of the history of that one. <laughs> well, I, I can tell you from the music side, um, so, you know, me and Frank, oh, this is Kevin again, uh, you know, we were working off the music, and Frank just had this bass line that, you know, we used to always warm up to when, you know, we are getting our initial tone. And one day, I was just, like, it just caught me. I was like, you play that thing again, man. And uh, so I whipped that out and, you know, did my little guitar thing to it. Um, you know, we got Ken on it, and he just murdered, you know, the idea drum-wise. And, you know, John just, you know, once again did this thing, you know, um, you know, lyrically and vocally. You know, one of the, it's funny because a lot of like, like our older tunes, you know, we didn't change a lot of form of it. It was just more like everybody just doing their thing to us. So it was, it was just one of those things that just really came together. So. Yeah, Ricochet is kind of like our Frankenstein monster. You know, everybody put their little piece in it and it became, this, you know, it became the song eventually that would say, this has got to be first on the album. Yeah. You know, uh, Lyrically side of it, you know, I don't like to consider us like a political band or anything, but there is a, a little political edge in the lyrics of that song, and, uh, and you know, it's kind of like approaching that your own attack. You don't want to, uh, you know, base your future off of somebody else and how they affect your lives. You pretty much do it on your own. It's a great tune, man. I've been listening to that one the most. Now, um, I don't usually like to do a lot of comparisons, but, John, i got to tell you, it's really hard for me not to hear and draw a little bit of a Miles Kennedy comparison to your voice and style. Do you get that a lot, or is that, is that something you haven't heard a lot of? Um, uh, I, I hear, you know, I hear, you'd be surprised at how many different bands that we've heard that we've done. <laughs> you know, it's usually every single time. Miles Kennedy is definitely one of my biggest influences, along with, Brent Smith from Shine Down. I'm a big Lane Staley fan and Scott Weiland. Even all the way back to Robert Plant with, with Led Zeppelin. You know, I kind of, uh, you know, it's, it's just weird how I've just grown up listening to so many different kinds of music. To be honest with you, my favorite vocalist of all time is Freddie Mercury. So I, don't wanna, I, I like to, you know, just over the years singing different songs and then making my own voice of how it is. You know, it's just kind of like a... Uh, a breed of its own, I feel like, with all my influences put into one. With what I get. Yeah, there's some great influences to have there, that list you gave, man, definitely. And uh, Brent Smith, one of my favorites as well. So, um, hey, is there any hope of seeing you guys out here on the East Coast? You know, I only get out to California once in a blue moon. Is there any hope to see you guys out here? No, uh, it's part of the plan, you know. And so it's part of every band's plan to, like, expand your radius a little bit, you know. Uh, we want to, you know, it's just going to come with time. With, uh, you know, putting the money we need together to, to get out, to get out there. And, you know, we're dying to get out there. You know, Kevin's from Virginia. I'm from Massachusetts. So we'd love we're to go play. To back yeah, we'd love to go play in front of our hometown crowd. And it, it's on the agenda. You know, we got like a very long marketing plan 
that, uh, you know, kind of guy has the guidelines for the months to come and to the years to come, you know, which is trying to be extremely professional about this project. And, uh, you know, it's, I think it's going to come with time. Yeah, man, I thought I might have caught just a hint of that Massachusetts in there and talking to you. <laughs> That's pretty cool to get. Got a couple of East Coast boys out there in the band for sure. Um, hey, so uh, last thing, while you guys are out there, I mean, I know you're a hard-working band, but what do you do for fun? Are, are you all beach guys, or what are you doing on in your free time? <laughs> no, I go to professional wrestling shows out there in, uh, on the West Coast. I go to uh, professional wrestling at independent shows. That's a lot of fun. Uh, John, John here, on my downtime, I like to... Uh, I like to go fishing. That's my thing. You know, I like to get on the water, whether it's a lake or the ocean, and see what I can pull up. Ken? Uh, yeah, I like to go fishing and hunting. Pretty much anything out in nature, in the mountains, I'm happy. And this is Kevin. I'm probably your resident beach guy. I live, like, right outside Santa Monica. I'm down there all the time. Love it down there. Love the sun. <laughs> and the beautiful people, too. Well, listen, man, it's been great getting to know you guys a little bit. Once again, the album is called Under the Surface, man. I really, uh, Mar Army, listen to me. This is a great album. It's a K-Rock must own. you got to get this album. These guys are really a fantastic band. And, uh, guys, it's so cool that you called me from the whiskey. I'm glad we were able to time that out and make it work tonight. So uh, thanks for being here, and I want to wish you good luck on your show tonight. And we wanted to say, you know, thank you so much, you know, definitely to Rock Army. You know, this means a lot to us, you know. It's one of the reasons why we do this, so we just want to say you know, a huge thank you, shout out from us, you know, for, for doing this with us. So thanks a lot. Yeah, we we totally appreciate you know throwing our band and plugging us on uh, social media. You know, it's a great way to reach everybody, no matter where they are on like, in the country or in the world. That's why we reached out to you, you know, because we gotta um, explore all outlets to try to gain new fans and get new people to hear our music. You know, there's so many times where it's like, hey, you ever heard of Three by Design? No, because you've never heard us before. So we do always uh, try to reach out and try to make sure that we have as many listeners as possible. We're going to do our best to make sure everybody here in our neck of the woods and listens to our show news. You guys, uh, stay in touch, and as uh, things go on with the with the band, stay in touch with us. We'll have you back on again soon. So uh, good luck with the show tonight, guys. Thank you so much, and we hope we hope to get out there and you know rock your socks off when we uh, get out to your area. <laughs>